Hey guys, my name is Nikki. Welcome to A at the Table. And today's topic is, should the father of your children or you as the father, are you entitled to have of the government assistance, the stimulus, the taxes? Do you deserve part of this money? Or it should be called the Himalist. <laughs> the Himalist package. Because you feel me? they put in the sperm, so. I mean, first of all, if sperm was that easy, then you shouldn't be able to get anywhere, right? Now, look, look. First of all, look. How do you even look at me in the eye? We in the same household, right? You have no job. Or maybe you do work. You keep most of your money. I pay all the bills. I buy the food. I keep our son looking fresh, vacations, all this. I'm doing this. Home every night. Me. You get $15,000 in the mail, 12000 in the mail. How you gonna look at me in the eye and tell me you love me, I'm your partner, we, I'm your soldier, daddy, it's me and you, but not when it comes to money. See, everybody wanna ride out when it's convenient. It's easy to ride my way when I'm the one doing everything. I love Guapo, yeah, because I'm the one on the ship doing this, like, this is my wave. When your wave come, oh, this is my wave. I'm a woman, you know, I had the kid. I had the kid in my stomach. <laughs> I get all the money. Yeah, but that kid, when it came, I helped feed the kid. Okay. You feel me? Like, so my thing is like, I'm not saying that I want half the money. And truthfully, I might not even ask for the money. But I want the option to know that you're willing to share the money. Okay. Because that's for us. That's a come up. Now, if it's for the kid, then when they come, put it in a CD account. Right. Buy Bitcoin in. If it's all about the kids, all right, babe, babe. It came in, all right, cool. Put it on the table. Let's put it in the bank tomorrow and buy him a Bitcoin or buy some gold. And now, if you're going to your hair, vacation, some shoes, because the mall was packed. I was in the mall recently. <laughs> yeah, Gucci. Everybody was getting see, waxed. See, Gucci and Prada had long lines. <laughs> all the high-end stores had no lines. So y'all spending that money. And that money y'all get is like, and I, look, I get it. Being a woman is harder than being a man. You know, y'all end up always, when things happen wrong with, a, you know, dating, y'all get the kid. It go with y'all. You, know, you understand? When the marriage don't work, the kids stay with y'all. And let's face it, the, the, the world isn't even. So granted, I'm saying the money should be for you and the most should go to you. But I want the option knowing that you're down to share it with me. Right. So I want to say this, right? Um... You know, I'm a parent, I have a child. I was the custodial parent for my daughter, so I worked when I filled out my W-4 form. I'm saying I'm claiming her. Mm -hmm. You know, I get the least taxes taken out my check, and at the end of the year, I get to claim her. Now, when me and her father was together, I was still claiming her. Now, when the money came, I don't want to cap and say I broke him off something, but I'm pretty sure that whatever, when the money came, we definitely used it for anything household, and he never asked. Now, two stimulus checks. We received two stimulus checks so far. Um, he didn't ask me for none of it. Like, the first stimulus check and the second one, he didn't ask me for nothing. Then when this 1400 came, you know, you know, uh, when people break up, they go through a bunch of shit. I did have my daughter's father on child support, and then I recently took him off. And I'm like, look, from time to time, just help me out if I need it. I don't want to do this to you. I don't want to put you on child support. So I was like, you know, help me out when I need it from time to time. It's not going to be every week. It's not going to be every month. But when I really need it, just look out. He's like, yo, I got you. So I'm like, yo, she need extra this, this, and that. He was like, you know what? I don't ask you for the 1400 He's like, yo, take that money and use it for whatever she need. Like, I don't need nothing. Like... Whatever she needs, just get it. And I wound up still giving him half. Like, I wound up still giving him half because he works, he has a car, he has bills or whatever or whatnot, and he looked out when I need him to look out. I gave him half and was just like, yo, you use it for whatever she needs over there, and I'm going to use the rest for whatever she needs over here. And it's no issue. And then on top of that, we do have joint custody. So I can't speak for people that has the mother that has the child five days a week. And she's like, but you're a weekend dad. Exactly. Like, how are you supposed to get say. half mm -hmm. of this money? Because you, But you know what? Take it. And, but it also counts is, are you providing the father with clothes and shoes and stuff like that when they're going? Or do they have to provide that for themselves well, too? Well, exactly what Guapo said. Everybody has, he painted a picture of a certain situation. But everybody has different situations. Mm -hmm. You know, all the times, I, I had my first child when I was 16 and my second child when I was 20. So I've been doing taxes for a long time, since I was 16, basically, because I started working um, as a waitress when I was 16. So I've always been doing taxes. Not once ever in my life have I given any money to either one of my daughter's fathers, and nor would I. Um, you know, like, it depends on the situation that you're in. My first daughter's father, he's on child support right now. I still wouldn't give him money. His, I wipe my ass with his little $50 a week. 
You know, like people have different situations. You know, if you if you are a deserving father and you were there for your kid 24 seven, where the mother is not struggling whatsoever when it comes to the child, and you like pay child support and you give the baby mother money to help with the kid and your home and you're really doing the whole package, which is very rare. It's a few, yes, they exist, but it, it's not the common. I'm so, sorry, it's not the common. And it's not just a black race, it's every race. Well, so let's break, guys, let's just... break these type of dudes down. Now listen, don't get now don't watch this video if you were doing that I'm your savior, because you might not fit in my criteria for getting some money. Don't think I'm just here to save you real niggas. No, 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 no. All right, I'm gonna describe my three type of dudes. The first dude, he's the one that lives in the house with you. Y'all together, y'all mm -hmm. couple. He's there every night. He pays the majority of the bills. He the one that buying the food. That they, like, he's a real dad. He's the dad that you always wanted your kids to have. Mm -hmm. A dad like that, when that money comes in, it's no question you just give him a little something. Remember, I'm not saying half. I'm saying you bless that man. He works hard, he supports the house, he deserves a piece of that pie because he's a hardworking man. That's common sense. So he gets the check, boom. Number two, you and him not together. But he's a good dad though. He's there, on the, he's there when he can be. He's there when he should be. Right. He has some moments where he's a, you know, he's an asshole and y'all have right, an issue. Right. He's like, you know, th this guy. Right. But overall, <laughs> overall, he's like, he fits the bill. Mm -hmm. When that money comes, it's, it's common sense. You know what? Me and him ain't on good terms, but I got a few bands. I know that he can use this to help him out with his mixtapes. <laughs> so, nah, or whatever he got gotcha. going on in his life. Remember, men also <laughs> have, 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 have dreams and goals too. Right. And so sometimes that money you might have gave him might have helped him have a better night's sleep or a better day or a better mm -hmm. month. Like, shouldn't your, your other half that made your your son or daughter have a better I life think. too? You understand? So he gets some, some. Now the third guy, he's the, he's never around. He only around when when it's convenient, when he's in the, yo, yo, I'm in the area, yo, uh, yo, low Jared dress, tell him to come downstairs real Siobhan. quick. <laughs> yo, tell Pookie to come downstairs, I'm downstairs. Oh yeah, and Hector, some Spanish dads too, <laughs> mix it in a little bit. He just never around. He comes when he can, he, you know, he come through, get you a hundred, yo, hey, yo, here, yo, go a hundred for little man, snacks for school, like that kind of fake dad. He's the one that's gonna be calling your phone crazy. Yo, this, you know, being violent, threatening you, you know, calling you greedy, I want some of that, he gets nothing. And if that's you, just know that like, you didn't put no work in. She's the one with the kid every day, school, the morning, breakfast, that whole thing is like God giving her a reward for being a good mother, you understand? So, them three is my criteria. Now the amount, my amount, I feel like it should be, 30% should be the minimum if he's a, you know, that's the minimum. 50, 50 for a guy never goes, but I'm starting to wonder why, because when me and you get divorced, 50, 50 is the criteria. You understand? If I win the lottery and, and we're dating, you know, you're gonna expect 50%. Oh, child support. Yeah. You feel me? I mean, what I said earlier, the government made up those rules, not us. So you have a problem with that, you go, to the government. Well, I'm not just <laughs> like, Listen, see, you know, like, this is the, one of the problems I had dating one time with this girl, right? So one time we had an argument about some simple shit. I'm like, yo, you're not, dudes like me that you date don't even answer the phone, really. They're always busy and they never really available how I am to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm always around, I never tell you no, da, 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 da. And she was like, I'm saying like, okay. And she was kind of like, I seen that men don't get rewarded a lot for being solid. It's like, so this money coming into y'all, granted, they know to give y'all the money because y'all the mother. But it's like, do you reward a man for in the world? Because y'all always say the world full of um, fuckboys. Megan Thee Stallion music and Cardi B music. I never hear no, no rap song by a girl. I'm, I'm saying, yeah, black men are kings. Yeah, black men are the shit. Love my black, never. I, I hear broke boys don't get nothing and get his money. So I don't really think that being a good man gets a reward. It's like, oh, you're supposed to be a real man. You're supposed to be a solid dude. You're supposed to dress nice. It's like, damn, you're right. A man is a provider by nature. There's no excuse for not being a provider as a man. But it's okay as a woman to reward him. 
All right, so let's not not give credit to the real dads. Y'all all you just said, oh, the mother but the mother the is mother. the mother. <laughs> the she mother, a mother. <laughs> a the mother yeah. is obligated to claim the children on the taxes. All right, if she's a housewife, she's not working. So technically the the father is the 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 head of the household. Mm -hmm. He claims her, he claims the kids. Now, it, would he be giving her some of the money? Like, miss, you don't work. No, I'm the one. I'm going to decide what's going to happen he here. All right, boom. And that's, I, All right, yeah, so that's now. double standard. Yeah, so now the money belongs to the custodial parent. It's not automatically the mother because, Guapo, would you, I don't know how many kids you have, but would you take full custody of your kids? Okay, listen. No. I, not because I don't want to. It's my lifestyle all right, won't but permit you it. All right, but you can't. That's a lot of men's circumstances. They cannot take full custody. of My my daughter's father, we have joint custody because he cannot take full custody. Mm -hmm. He cannot. He says he can, but it's, you have to have a strong so support system as a man to do that, okay? Because unfortunately for you guys, like when it comes to a single father, y'all look at like... <laughs> You better handle that, but we get more sympathy for being single mothers. So that's mm -hmm. the harsh reality okay. of single fathers. And that's, and that's, the government, so, and that's why the government yes. provides more so, to single mothers. So that's why they provide, because it's like, as men, y'all are portrayed, you have to be strong, you have to be this. It's harder for you guys, but there are single fathers out there, and we want to, you know, commend you guys for doing what you have to do. So the money literally belongs to the custodial parent. If you live in a household with me, Guapo, and I'm not working, and you're taking the bills, and you're making sure my nails done hair done everything so when you file your taxes and you get that money you could literally have say so look yeah i'm doing this with the money for the kids or i'm gonna break you up something i'm gonna do this or do that it's not a, a typically a male or female thing all right well look facts yes. and i also feel like no offense <laughs> i feel like a man shouldn't be asking me for money like don't you guys have like pride like why are you asking <laughs> a woman for money why are you asking her for her money Okay. You know, like, I don't know. I will feel Tell a little bit offended. Right I would be like, see, did they give it to me that's, or they gave it to you? That's the culture yeah. we I see. Don't know. That's the culture we live in, though. See, the culture we live in is like this. And look, and now when I say it in words, you're going to say, damn, yo, it is like that. As a dude, you are to work your entire life. Your woman should not have to work. If she does have to work, it's considered you know, she has to really work by dating you. Take care of your family, pay the bills, maintain your appearance, and never ask for nothing. Never expect no extra shit. Never ask for no money. Never ask for nothing. Now, look, in this world, we reward dogs for doing dumb shit, for, for sitting down. We, we reward, you know, at your job. Do a good job, you get a raise. Like, in the, in the culture we live in, when you do good, you get a reward. Except for being a good man, because being a good man is normal. Y'all be single, so it's not normal. <laughs> having a good Yo. man, having a good, having a good man that takes care of your family and your son or your daughter is exceptional. You are a lottery winner. You, my lady, are lucky. So when that money comes in, you're right. Shouldn't no man have to be like, yo, because maybe, why? Because men are supposed to be always be on their feet and doing well. So God forbid your man is not doing well and he needs your help. He's a weak man. But if I'm dealing with, uh, with a woman. I wouldn't be with somebody that's asking a, me for my money. Okay, let me talk though. When I'm dealing with a woman who, who's doing bad, not working and has my kid, I can say, damn, yo, she a bum. Like, come on, ma, get a job. My mom raised me with a single, you know, single and had a job, but she, but I can't call her a bum because she's a woman. Her not having a job or money is, it's like, you know, she's a girl. Help her, support her. So why, when a man might need help or assistance, he got to be like, he's a pool putt. Like, shouldn't being a good person or being a good dad get a reward? All right, so. I mean, it, 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 I get what you're saying, but it, again, it just falls down to custodial parenting. Like, who has the child? You know, if the dad has a child, they'll get the money. Right. If the mother has a child, she'll get the money. That's just the way it is. This is life. We cannot change the We're not things. saying who, who gets the money. You We're know, saying like, if I'm a good dad to your child, right, and I'm out here investing, you know, and I'm working, and you get $12,000, and I've been coming through for you for the whole year with this kid, whatever, whatever, extra stuff, you don't think that when that 12000 come, I should get nothing? Not be would, honest, though. Be honest. I'm being very honest. I would not, I would not bring it up to you. If you asked me, then I'll be like, what do you want it for? What are you going to do with it? 
And then if it's a good reason, a good thing, then I'll give it to you. Okay, so how Simple about that? Like, so, um, so how about you? Yeah. I just want to talk from personal experiences, <laughs> That's hard, right? Bro. I'm sorry. I want to talk from a talk. Uh, men will learn what type of woman they are actually dealing with when it comes to money. So you'll find out exactly what type of woman Nisha is when that money come and yeah. she like, don't be asking me for money. You're going to find out exactly what type of woman when you're dealing with, when y'all have a ch child together and y'all break up and she put you on child support. You're going to see exactly money. what type of woman you're dealing with in the long run. So the thing is with that is I'm just losing my train of thought. It's cool, look, <laughs> see, look, look. I'm going to help you out here though. And this plane came to I'm me just now, right? The world go Listen, around, look. So. No. The one thing about money, though, money, see, people, see, I dated, this is from my experience, not from people, but this is from what I have dated. I had a girl before, right? We never had no problems until it was time for her to spend money on me. You understand? It was like, all of a sudden, it was like, well, you know, I'm saving for my house, you know, like, you shouldn't want me in my savings. So I was like, damn, it hit me one day. I was like, damn, so her saving for her house and her goals is more important than me saving for my house and my goals. Like, why does it seem like when it comes to a man, money is like hard to cough up for a woman? That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. If, you, if saying. you have feelings for a nigga, you're gonna spend money on him. Like, I've definitely spent money on men that I want to spend money on. That's the thing, you have to have the want Sis, to spend no, the money. No, I'm sorry, I don't care. Like, it depends on what you love more. Niggas or money. I, I, I really like I really like money, but my thing is money don't go over my morals at the end of the day. Yeah. So if I know my daughter's father or you know he's doing what he got to do, I'm not gonna put him on child support for money. If he asks or I get something extra and I can help him out, I'm going to do that because my morals come before money. So that's why I said know what type of females you're dealing yeah. with. Some females' money comes before yeah. their morals, and, and that's yeah. it. And that's who you gotta choose to that's who you choose to be with. You have a choice. Like damn, I see what type of female you are. Do you want to continue that relationship or you want to fall a back? A lot of people right now but are going to figure out who they're dating about, like, who that person is because of this money. Mm -hmm. Because money will always reveal anything you got yes. up that's fake. I don't you think, understand? I don't that's think, but I don't think you, I don't think you not giving a portion of your stimulus check or a portion of your taxes um, to your um, partner, baby daddy, baby mother, whatever, it means you means you don't have morals. No, it no. means that, it I means that you no, think like, that you having them. Look, first of all, like I said, nobody, no man should expect money from no no person. As nobody, a man, period. your own two feet and your two hands, that's your hustle. Let's get that clear and add that in the clip. But we gotta know that. No man should be going, yo, did it come yet? I'm just saying, for my argument, if a man is doing his job and has been doing his job, you as a woman shouldn't feel right not blessing that man when you can and when it's not even your money. Remember, it's easy to bless a person when it's somebody else's money. You feel me? That money coming in for somebody else. So he'll have a chance to bless him, not from your pocket. But the key word is want.